Hi and welcome. This is Zara, and today I'm going to show you how to resolve this error. Uh, you get something like an exception, and then it says the metadata for input does not match the metadata for the associated associated output column. So I received this error when I was um, making a demo video on how to load data from multiple sources and uh, um, we were able to load data from multiple sources using Unilog and we were able to import data but uh, for some reason um, employees ID were not coming through from a text file and the date, hire date. So going through the package I noticed that I was getting this error and uh, because employee ID wasn't matching the employee ID which was coming from a uh, um, SQL server and higher date was matching from the higher date which was coming from a uh, SQL server so for some reason the data wasn't coming through so I decided to make this video so that I can show you guys how to resolve this error so let's go ahead and see exactly in Visual Studio. So this is my package and uh, during my troubleshooting I went to Unit now and I can see uh, the input number two was ignored and here was ignored and that's the reason why we don't see the information and this number two is the input file which is coming from an Excel file I mean sorry a text file which is a CSV and this is coming from SQL Server so I'm um, gonna go ahead and look at the metadata. So I just right click on the source of the text file. And when I go to the output columns, I see here the employee ID is a string. And when I go at the higher date, it's a string. So let's see what's coming through here from SQL Server. So when I go to Output, Employee ID, I can see it's 4 byte, that's the data type, 4 byte signed integer, and higher date is the database date. And when you look at our destination, um, obviously, and I can look at it in the SQL Server, uh, it's an int and a date. So obviously we have to match this in order to resolve that error. So I'll show you how I get that error. So right now on input 2 is ignored. So let's try to bring employee ID. When I bring the employee ID, that's when I get the error message. I'll show you guys. And the same thing to higher date. Okay, let's go ahead and resolve this error. Um, I'm going to resolve this error by adding a data conversion task. Again, if you don't know how to use this, please watch my previous video. Uh, okay, so I need employee ID and I need higher date. So if you remember, the employee ID here, the data type was It was four byte signed integers, if I'm not mistaken. And this here, higher date, it was not Unicode, but it was database date. And the output columns will be copy of employee ID and copy of higher ID. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to leave the name as the error, but uh, you can go ahead and remember this. And then I'll go ahead and connect my union now. Um, now, let me go ahead and uh, execute this. No, let me go check and map. So I need copy, and now if you notice I'm not getting any error message, 
and I need a copy of Firebase. I'll click OK. Everything looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and skip my package. Everything has been loaded. And let me see my data now. I'm going to execute this to see what happens. And now you can see um, the employee number has been populated as well as my hire date. So uh, on this video, it's just a short video to show you how we can tackle this error message if you get one. Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, you have a wonderful day.